Hey guys, today I wanted to touch on the subject of starstruck, crushing versus actual true love with a celebrity. So someone who's just starstruck and a fan, they kind of don't see things realistically. They, um, they are usually very much into like, well, I don't know, watching a lot of TV, watching a lot of movies and stuff. And, and they think that that world is kind of like a fantasy. It's a fantasy and they've got like posters up everywhere and they've got like, if, if you're starstruck, then when you see that person, you would like tremble and shake and cry. Okay. You guys would like, and you'd fall apart if they start dating somebody. You'd freak out if they, and it's like, you'd want to follow them everywhere and stuff like that. That's when you know you've got a problem. That's an unhealthy, that's an unhealthy thing. Somebody who actually has a, a, a real true love connection with a celebrity, they don't really want it because <laughs> they've really thought about it and they've thought this is completely and totally realistic and this could absolutely work. Even though there's like a part of them that doubts just like every divine feminine, divine masculine dynamic, there's always those insecurities and things like that that go on. Um, but they, they've looked at it very realistically and they have not wanted it. And they've, they've, come to, they've really looked at all the different angles of it and they're like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. But they're willing because they truly do feel like they love that person. And, and it may not, I mean, these are people, some of them haven't actually had like conversations yet, but they both know that they really like each other. Like they've signed, they, there's been all these signs and synchronicities that's gone back and forth, or there's just a knowingness or they're dreaming about each other or things like that are happening. It's it, it, just like any other kind of true love relationship. Like, there's all these things that kind of point to each other. But um, for those of you who are in the starstruck thing, who are, who are kind of crushing, and, and, and a lot, some of these, a lot of these people um, already know their celebrity. They've already been friends for years or, you know, stuff like that. That's not every case, but um, I talked to a lot of people who actually know them and have been establishing a friendship for, for many years and they've been falling in love and everybody sees it but them. So there's that too. But if you're one of those people who, who would have kind of a, um, an overreaction to a celebrity that you feel that you've convinced yourself you have some kind of a true love relationship with, I'm here to give you guys that reality check. <laughs> so I've made a list with some of my friends um, as to why it's not an awesome thing to be with a celebrity. <laughs> you know, what are the downfalls that, um, you know, people who actually have that connection to a celebrity have already thought through. <laughs> um, he or she aren't the person that you think they are as an actor or actress or how they, you know, it's like their persona out on stage or their persona and what they do for, for work is not the same person that they are at home. Um, even in interviews, even if you've watched them in interviews, it doesn't mean that that's what, who they are either. They're on their best behavior, but that's not the real them. If when you get to know the real them, you're going to see all kinds of, all kinds of those, uh, quirky things that, you know, it, the same flaws that you and I have. You're going to see the same stuff. And, um, and you'll have some disappointments. You know, you'll be let down in some ways. And in, in, in some ways, you'll, you know, just, <laughs> you're going to have no privacy. The two of you guys, well, that's the end of privacy, depending on how big of a person they are, like how well-known they are. You're not going to have any more privacy um, you'll have to live in a gated community because anywhere else that you go, you're going to have paparazzi all around watching you guys. You can't go out for dinner and not be interrupted, asked for an autograph. Um, you, they don't, they don't know if a stalker will pop up anytime in the backyard. That would suck. Can you imagine just watching a movie, trying to relax or even having sex and trying to have like an intimate moment? And then you see somebody moving around in the bushes. That's like, how annoying, you know, don't be one of those people. 
when they do anything in public, they can't just enjoy themselves. So true. It's like, how would you like to be followed by cameras everywhere you go or have people shout out to you or call your name and you, and you turn around just to find another stranger or a group of people freaking out, yelling and screaming and running after you. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty awful. Um, they're, yeah, they're constantly asked for photographs, for autographs. Fans are always trying to have sex with them. Um, fans will believe that they are their true love and they'll be kind of crazy about it and crazy jealous and things. You got to deal with that kind of crap. Um, people act like they know them when they don't just because they've done some studying on them and maybe that stuff that they've studied isn't even correct. Um, they get tricked and used by major seasoned players in their industry and you have to watch them go through that. Um, they uh, are walking around doing normal things. Oh yeah, but then they hear their name called out and turn to see a stranger. I already mentioned that. Everyone's fake to them and they are tempted to become fake. They are tempted to do what their agents tell them to do and, and be the person that everybody wants them to be or thinks that they are. So they're like sometimes on this line of who am I really? They can get lost. If they didn't know that going into the industry, they can get pretty lost about who they are. Um, they don't really know, know who their friends are or who they can trust. They may, you know, they may be able to trust you, but maybe not, you know. But definitely you guys are going to have like, or you guys would have friends or family and things like that, that just totally use them or betray them. Um, yeah. If they're an actor or an actress, they'll be kissing other people. That sucks. Right. Um, I mean, they're playing their, their role and that's great. And you will probably trust them, but it's still, you have to share. <laughs> Um, you could also have to deal with really toxic habits because everybody's doing drugs. When you get, you know, the higher up you go, they're going to be, you know, wanting it's, they're not satisfied. So they have to keep reaching. And, and there are a lot of very miserable people at the top. If they haven't learned to be present in the moment and how to like cultivate their spirituality, they're going to need more and more things and, orgies and sex and all this other crazy stuff to like try to satisfy themselves. And that's why they end up committing suicide half the time. Nothing is going to make them happy because they haven't made peace with themselves. Um, so you got to deal with that. You got to do, you know, a lot of these things you have to deal with no matter what kind of relationship you're in. I'm just saying it, sometimes it gets accentuated and um, exaggerated because it's a, almost like an accelerated journey going straight to the top like that. Um, they're always the center of attention. Um, sometimes they can be very, very selfish and narcissistic. They oftentimes do not have space to expand their own awareness because of their busy schedule. So they do get kind of caught up in all of the whirlwind of everything around them. They're always being persuaded to do things that, that don't resonate with their truth. Uh, they're pressured to be or look a certain way. So that's that fake thing. They're usually not armored to defend themselves from psychic attack or even physical attack unless they have bodyguards. But even then, um, they're kind of susceptible to psychic attack because of they're not very grounded when they're running around doing their work all the time. So unless unless they're taught to do that or unless they're conscious enough that they protect themselves every day and maybe meditate for a few minutes before they get going, if they can get away from all the entourage of people all around them all the time, you know, it can be really, it can be really hard. Um, energy vampires will drain them. They have all these people who are, who are, are pulling on their energy constantly. So they, they really do have to learn how to protect themselves. Cameras are always on them. And they can become too materialistic. So fans, um, they do not belong to you just because you adore them. Don't get angry that they're dating someone who makes them happy. Be happy for them. It, finding happiness in that industry, believe it or not, is really hard. Really hard for all the reasons I've just listed. 
So if they are lucky enough to find someone that they love, whether a normal person or another celebrity, be happy for them, guys. If it's a karmic situation, you know, it's the same thing as dealing with any of these other masculines. It's like you can just roll your eyes and hope they grow up out of that. But be happy for them if they found the real thing. Um, uh, yeah, it's hard enough to find a special person in this world without your fans being hateful. Being happy for others also brings you happiness. So when you, whether this is just walking around out in public or in a mall or whatever, and you see people kissing on each other and holding hands and you feel a little jealous, like turn that energy around to that's a sign that I'm coming into mine. You know, this is going to be incredible for me because the happier I can be for somebody else's happiness, that's going to bring it, that's going to bring it around to me. That's the attitude that you want to have because that's what you're going to be manifesting. And if you stay in a state of, of being jealous or being envious of what somebody else has that you don't have, you're, you're putting out an energy that's going to be blocking you from your own happiness. So be, instead, like turn that fan energy, turn that fan energy to like watch this video to really, really ground yourself, put yourself in that situation of actually having that life and being unhappy with it, seeing, seeing full well what hell it could actually be so that you can have that reality check, see them as being totally normal, normal people because they are, you guys. They, they're, just, they're just like us. There's nothing different about them, except that they just happen to have cameras in front of them. So um, see it from that perspective so that you can... It, you know, the, the ones who really, truly are their true love are so much more mature about it. You know, they really, they really see um, the truth behind all the, all the hoopla. So you guys can turn that energy around. I was going to say, turn that fan energy around to yourself, being fanatical about yourself, seeing your own, um, seeing what you could become. What is it you like about that celebrity and cultivate that? Do you like you know, that they're really funny and playful, you become more funny and playful or look for a partner who is a real life partner you can wrap your arms around and make love to. You know, look for those traits in the person that you, that you can find for yourself. Um, if it's that they're just like soaring to the top of their industry and they're really taking off and you feel kind of like dead in the water in your career, do something to liven things up. Do something to make your own, to boost your own career and make your own career better see what see that person that celebrity as a reflection of yourself somehow and learn and grow from it rather than um putting these um i don't know putting putting these fantasies on these people and these expectations that would never you know would never pan out and are completely unrealistic um because you're just going to hurt yourself and you're just going to hurt that person and they don't deserve it they really don't deserve it and neither do you. Oh, yeah. And then there's also being compared to the actresses, actors, and other singers that he does projects with. <laughs> you know, you're going to be compared and picked apart. You are going to be ridiculed because everybody's jealous and they want that person. And they think they could be with somebody more perfect. So there's that too, you know, and we're, we're all going to be having that happen no matter the relationship again, but um, yeah, but that's, it's accentuated over there. You're expected to be perfect or at least, you know, his co-stars or his uh, other, other people that are also in the limelight are going to be more perfect and you're going to be compared to them. So that's always delightful and fun. <laughs> Hopefully you've got somebody who would who would just be there be there for you through all of that because you are going to get um you know if you were in those shoes you you would you you'll get picked apart everybody would be anyone everybody gets picked apart when you're in the limelight no matter what so that's that's a not so fun part I guess another way of telling if that this person is your person too is like could they be completely uh, could they go through some kind of 
major thing in their career get completely destroyed, like they become handicapped or they lose all their money or uh, they just get annihilated, so like they get framed or something crazy happens and they're just like completely shunned by the industry from then on out. And everywhere you go, you're, you're like, everybody turns their head from you, their faces from you or shame you in some way, both of you. Would you stand by his side then? Would you still be in love with him then? You know, that's a, that's a really good one because fans, they are, they are more uh, fickle that way. <laughs> they are more like, you know, I want him for the fame and, the, and everything that it would bring me. But the, you know, the true love partner would care more about how they feel going through that and they'd be there for them through that rather than think about themselves and what they would lose. So hope this helps give a reality check to some of these people who are just plain old fans um, versus the ones who've got a real thing with somebody that happens to be in the limelight. All right. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you the next time we have one of these talks. If you like this talk, then um, definitely check out other playlists of mine here on YouTube and have a good time going down that rabbit hole. <laughs> All right. Bye.